week two of the fresh standard format following Return to Ravnica's release. And uh, on the left, we've got Lawrence Swayze, Larry Swayze on uh, Four Color Reanimator, and uh, William Smith on Bant Control. Now, we I think we've talked about this early, like, is the best uh, Thrag Tusk deck a, uh, a Bant Control list? Is the best control deck a Thrag Tusk deck? Yeah. And William Smith is, is on that page. Uh, looks like Larry Swayze up a game and a pretty good commanding uh, board, a yeah. pretty good lead on the board. So, um, William Smith's creatures, mm -hmm. the exact same as Jack Brandon's creatures. Ah, yeah. The last round. Two, Two Angels, Angel Serenity, Serenity, Three Restoration Angel, Four Thrag Tusk. And uh, William Smith with a Terminus will leave the board with uh, a couple of beasts. William decides to forego the red, so no Pillar of Flame. Correct. Right. Uh, has an additional Tamiyo. Three Jaces, two Tamiyos. That's Planeswalker Suite. Uh, he's got... He splits up the O-Rings and the Detention Spheres. Uh, presumably so he can maybe O-Ring some Detention Spheres if he needs to. That's uh, that's the reason to play yeah, Oblivion Ring over Yeah, split it up. You, uh, three copies of Divination, uh, Divination as his card draw. Very interesting. I actually like that card a lot. Yeah. Um... If you're not if you're not playing counter spells, um, divination's much yeah, better. Yeah, there's than no reason place. exactly. Yeah. There's no reason to, to hold that mana open. Uh, Larry rebuilding after that terminus with a huntmaster of the fells gets a wolf, and uh, William Smith in need of another sweeper. Uh, good news for him, at he's least got, he's his got a main bunch deck, in his deck. He's got three terminus main and four supreme verdict main. He needs so, it. Uh, yeah, he, he, he wants, wants to sweep. But he wants it. He wants to sweep them. This is uh, this is apparently broom control. He just yeah. <laughs> wants to sweep the board. Well, he's, he's gonna have to dig for the, the second one. No, he yeah. doesn't have to dig. He just has it. Uh, he's got a supreme verdict in his hand. In addition to an Azorius charm, I saw. Yeah. Playing the uh, the full art John Avon basics from Zendikar. I like those. those I like are my those backups. As well. those I, are I have smooth. unhinged lands. Unhinged are my favorite. But I uh, definitely have a nice uh, stash of. Zendikar base. Zendikar's, Same here. Yeah. Those are my those are my other ones I like. Uh, but speaking of John Avon artwork, uh, of course, Star City had the unhinged and still has the unhinged art lithographs oh, man. that were extremely those are popular. So sweet. Sold out. Now back in stock. But in addition to that, he's uh, we've got new lithographs of the John Avon basic lands from Return, Return to, to Ravnica. Ravnica and the uh, a lithograph of the Supreme Verdict of the Devil. Box. Yeah, so uh, William Smith playing John Avon that deck now. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, like if you haven't seen the Supreme Verdict Bio Box artwork, that is, is that fantastic. Is that an acidic slime from Larry Swayze in there? He is playing acidic slime. I talked to him earlier today. Uh, he did mention it. Uh, so nice. That that's is an a, acidic slime. That's a card you don't see a lot of uh, anymore. Simply because it's a five mana green creature, and uh, there's another five mana green creature that takes precedent, I think. Yeah. Drag tusk, but uh, yeah, Larry goes ahead and uh, resolves a faithful looting on his turn, passes back. William Smith, Jace, Architect of Thought, Fact of Fiction, Azorius Charm, Temple Garden, Thrag Tusk. I guess you split. Yeah, he it looks like he's reading he's, he's Azorius, reading Azorius, Azorius Charm. It looks like we got ourselves a Rita. You just put, so, uh, I mean, in this situation, like, the land is very close to irrelevant, so you just put the land with the worst card. Yeah, I think there's, I think I split no it like this. Like, And, yeah, William should definitely take the Thrag Tusk. He's especially considering he's got uh, an Azorius Charm already, so yeah, no even, need of the extra Even then, charm. like, Thrag Tusk is just, like, a much better... Yeah, I think you take the Thrag Tusk no matter what, yeah. but he's got an Azorius Charm, even yeah, just makes it, makes it putting even the nail easier. in the coffin there. So, uh... William passes back. I really like William's deck. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, this is this is the type of thing I was thinking about. Like as one of the better uh, control decks, I played I played against a version of this uh, in Cincinnati. He had uh, Augur Bolas. Okay, which Mason is which deck. is very reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was he didn't play the uh, rings or spheres because he needed spells. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and we have games. a slaughter games. Larry Swayze attempting to uh, and, and and very likely resolving. <laughs> he is going oh, to slaughter. Did, oh, William, William didn't cast him. the Thrag Tusk. Did he not name Thrag Tusk? I'd be curious. I've, apparently, he did not. Yeah, I'm surprised William I'm didn't sure we'll cast figure the Thrag it Tusk. But it was. Uh, let's see what he starts pulling. So uh, he's, probably he's Angel Serenity. He may have, may have named Angel. Uh, 
He's looking at, is it Rest in Peace? Yeah, it's two copies of Rest in Peace. He named right, Entreat the, the Angels. Angels. Gonna and swing and a miss. Wow, no Entreat the Angels in the 75. Not my favorite use of... Uh, Larry thinks he's playing games. against Entreat. And uh, it's interesting that he didn't name Thragtus. Now I wonder, does I that mean... 100% name Thrag Test. Does he have like a second copy of Slaughter Games in his hand or something? Does he? There's three thinking? in his sideboard. Yeah, I so it's possible there's a in. second. Um, very interesting choice to name and treat after not even having seen it. I mean, is he just, is, I guess right. he's that I worried yeah. about it. I mean, uh, it would probably end the game here, but even then you're... I mean, I guess if I'm Larry, I'm thinking, all right, I know he has Thrag Tusk. I can play around it, or and it's not game ending. He, he, you know, quote unquote, probably has Entreat the Angels. That's what he's thinking, obviously. So I need to worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that win condition, you know, at least. And and he got to take a peek at, at uh, Will's deck. So Larry plays land, passes back, and you know, and again, maybe he has a second Slaughter Games. Uh, Figuring that if, you know, entreats the card that can win immediately. Uh, Fiend Hunter or is this Rest in Peace? Rest in Peace. Rest in Peace, okay. Off the top, I believe. Yeah, definitely yeah, off the he, top. <laughs> he, didn't he didn't have, have it in it. his hand, yeah. so it was off the top. I Two actually don't like uh, Rest in Peace in uh, Angel Serenity deck. These players apparently started playing before our last match, so their time... Uh, was not extended, so they actually only have about five minutes left. Oh wow, so yeah, they need to... Yeah, William should definitely play the Thrag Test last turn, given that. So, I think plays Larry... it this turn, gains five, yeah. after uh, rest in peace. Yeah, and... don't know what's in uh, Swayze's hand, but uh, I would imagine with six cards and now he's starting to get out of his... He was mana screwed for a while, he had four lands while his opponent had like ten. Yeah. And, his, and you know, wins by no means mana flooded. He just has a lot. Uh, looks like an Oblivion Ring. A red card, Zealous Conscripts, maybe? Mm. That's Zealous Conscripts. That's Didn't a big a game. And it might very well be what it is because uh, maybe that's why he wasn't so Zealous afraid of the Thrag Zealous Conscripts in. Uh, and... He does have list. one main. Okay, yeah. he has. I believe, uh, all right, so what Swayze is asking, I would almost imagine, is that uh, if he steals the Thrag Tusk mm -hmm. and then attacks, mm -hmm. uh, and then William Azorius charms, who will get the beast? I would imagine Larry would, because yeah. the beast is in play on his side and leaving play I on his yeah, side. Yeah, that's, that's the correct answer. But, like, it's always good to, like, double check. Oh, confirm, check. yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're not, like, 100% positive. Like, I ask questions like that all the time to judges. So, looks like he's not going with the Zealous Conscript plan. He has an Oblivion Ring for Jace, and that resolves. Alright, so... Uh, and uh, looks like pass back, so just the O-Ring. This is heading directly for a draw, uh, <laughs> I think. Although Larry is at 23, so maybe William needs to get a move on if he wants to take yeah, game two here sure. and, and get a draw, so. Uh, yeah, there, there's way too much thinking. That's You gotta pass in like five seconds or whatever. Um, when when you're you're up against the clock, like if, or if you're playing a slow deck, um, you just, you just have to be, keep the clock in mind. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's really important when you're playing a slow deck yeah. uh, to always have the clock in mind. And and especially as the round gets later and later, you should start be, you know, you should really start checking on things. Like, is, uh, you know, are we, are we getting close to, uh, yeah. to time here? Like, over the years, I've played my fair share of, like, very slow decks. Gerard's, Gerard's orders. orders, yeah. I like that. I... Uh, what is it? A Latimer's Call plus Entomb a creature. Bear to life for one. Get two creatures, one goes to your hand, one goes to your graveyard. Interestingly, William uh, 
he got Slaughter Games. We saw both rest, wrote both copies of Rest in Peace in his deck. Mm -hmm. He taught, he drew both of them since the Slaughter Games. He has one in hand, one in play. Oh, he does have one. So uh, so he's just getting the one to his hand because he knows the one. One in the graveyard just is, gets exiled. Yeah. Correct. He doesn't want to thin his deck of an Avicen's Pilgrim. Yeah, no reason to exile a yeah. creature. It's just unless he if there's a creature he just doesn't want. I could I could see him getting rid of Gristlebrand if it's so in his deck. He has a Gristlebrand in his deck. Yeah. Just because it's very unlikely he's going to be able to cast it. Is that what you're thinking? Or yes. Like because he can only really reanimate it, or more likely only reanimate it. The foil overgrown too. Yeah, it looks like, as far as black sources, there are only three in the deck. Blood Crypt. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't see the over. Yeah. It's kind of, his deck list has a kind of a yeah. weird... Yeah, so I mean, there's probably like a half dozen. There's a Swamp. There's one yeah, there's of six each. six or seven. Oh, there's think. a Borderland Ranger. So I think it's just and six, if you don't yeah, count six caverns. plus two caverns. Like, yeah, this is just way too slow. Yeah, about one minute left, and uh... over the years I've made my fair share of mistakes with the clock running down. Mm -hmm. But I've avoided so many draws in the process that I'd much rather win one and lose one than draw two. Like draws are just like very, very, especially now. Like a draws, like not finishing this game is a loss because he's down one zero. Mm -hmm. Like, he just has to do whatever he can to, uh, every cycles now, it's just like, yeah. So, Larry casts Angel of Serenity, Angel takes out the, uh, Thrag Tusk, and that's it. But that's fine, it's, you know, gets it out of the way until, uh, Will can deal with the Angel. Here comes a Jace. If I'm Larry, do I... I don't even bother attacking. Exactly, do I even attack? Just, uh, because you know your opponent's playing Azorius Charm. Jace find Detention Sphere, Divination, and a Sun Petal Grove off of the uh, minus two ability. And give him the Detention Sphere or the Land and Divination. Okay, so that's time. Uh, William's got to kill Lawrence in two turns. Not happening. He needed at least three or four. So that's assuming, like, you know... Lawrence doesn't have anything like else to do. Right. At this point, okay. So there's a detention spear from William Smith. Gives back the uh, gives a thrag tusk back. But it goes to, to uh, William's hand. Right. So basically, effectively unsummoned. Uh, Will passes back. I don't know if they're uh, you know how much they're keeping track of turns over there, but. Uh, so this is turn one. This should yeah. This should be turn one. Yeah. And it is. So, Larry at 10. His angel is in detention. Draws a fiend hunter. And, uh, or at least has a fiend hunter. We, th we believe he has a zealous conscripts as well. Yeah. And that appears to be what is being cast here with five mana. And... Zealous conscripts. <laughs> yeah. A lot of hesitation there. Oh, he's Larry. taking Jace. That's awesome. He takes Jace and uh, goes valuable. ahead and uses it. Yeah, that's great. I like it. Like, I'm going to get a little factor fiction here. And there's Gerard's orders in two lands. So I guess that's a fairly easy split. Yep. Take the spell. Hmm. Says Larry. Um, yeah, I wonder if he wanted those lands or not. I mean, does, I guess the Gerard's orders. I mean, can it? Is, is, is a just, nice uh, little tutor, but... Fiend Hunter the Beast? So what would you say go? Oh, William only has two turns to kill. Larry. Yeah, or Fiend Hunter the Beast and say go. You know, you know, you have two guys defending yourself. Right, and, and you know he has the Azorius charm. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't even he, attack. Yeah, I mean, I guess at the same time, he's like, well, if he wants to give me back the conscripts on the top oh, of my deck, I'll just, deck, sure. you know, like... I'd be glad to t take it. Yeah. So, uh... But William just took took the hit. Yeah. It's fine. Took the damage. No reason to Azorius Charm there. It happened. Like, yeah, this is... The, another mistake I see in uh, all levels of tournament play. Mm -hmm. uh, 
more so in uh, more so like in these type of tournaments and like say the pro tour where all the players are like very experienced but uh, the time management mm -hmm. I mean even in pro tour like players play excruciatingly slow because it's pro tour and they don't want to mess up right but guess what uh, getting a getting a 1-0 loss is definitely a mistake so I mean that's a a match losing mistake if you will yeah, it's one Not, of those things where... I'd much rather like, make a gameplay mistake because I'm playing too fast. Right. And I I do, can, that happens. I do that, like... I can definitely uh, understand because you get lost in the game sometimes. You're, like, playing and you're like, wait, what? It's how much, like, time's yeah. left in the round? Oh, my gosh. You know, I didn't realize our game one took 35 minutes. Like, <laughs> crap. Yeah. But it's amazing how... You know, when you're aware of it, you can just play so much fat. You just start playing faster. Yeah, yeah, you might make more mistakes, but if you're like, I, All right, I need to just, move, just yeah. move. I think Willem just do like one of his best cards, but isn't going to have the time to cast it. So he uses Azorius Charm, casts a Thrag Tusk. Yeah, to cycle. Uh, now cast a Thrag Tusk, gain some life. Please. A, okay, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that problem? wasn't a. I thought what did you think William drew a uh, Angel Serenity. Yeah, he did. That's an angel. Hmm. Maybe it's a restoration angel. It's a white card. That's yeah, it's, uh, no, ooh. that's angel surrender. I think it is too. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I don't think they have like more time than they do, or maybe they have more time, and we're just we're just wrong. But I don't. Yeah, this should be turn three, right? This should be turn one, two, yes. three. This should be turn three for Laurie. Lawrence Swayze. Uh, yeah, Larry doesn't have any need to win this game. Right. And that's not really gaming anything. No, it's uh, you're once you're in time, like you just want to survive the turns. Right, it's the situation you're in. He's not playing slow. He's just right. not attacking. That doesn't. Oh man. So uh, well, Larry maybe he is attacking. I don't know. <laughs> he yeah. didn't play Falk no. and Wrath Aristocrat. Larry has the combo in his deck. Uh, what, what combo is that? Um, Angel of Glorious Rise. Uh huh. Falk and Wrath Aristocrat. Mm -hmm. And Fiend Hunter. So how does this work for, uh, for those of us who have not seen this combo in action? All right, so you... I've heard about it, but I have not seen it, so it's interesting you, to... Uh, because basically you have all three in play. Mm -hmm. uh, or you have Aristocrat and Fiend Hunter in play. Or Fiend Hunter in your graveyard. Basically you get uh, an angel trigger. Oh, he just won the game instead. Neat. Yeah, so what... What it looked like was somehow the conscript stole a Thrag Tusk. All right, well, I was trying to explain how this works. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Larry casts uh, Aristocrat, then casts Fiend Hunter, a second Fiend Hunter mm -hmm. from his hand. Fiend Hunter exiled his Zealous Conscripts. Mm -hmm. Then Larry sacrificed the Fiend Hunter to the Aristocrat. Right, and then the Zealous, the Zealous Conscripts, Conscripts comes, comes back, back and steals Thrag Tusk. Steals Thrag Tusk, and, and that was the lethal attack. Very, very nice win by Larry Swayze there. Yeah. In turns, and like we in were just turns. saying, in on that turn, he has no need to attack yet. He just is like, yeah, well, I'll, like, just, I got I'll just, it. I have it, yeah. yeah. So tell